Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be making an aerial model to find binomials that multiply to the polynomial below. So an aerial model basically says, okay, and you can use any shape, I guess, that you want. I'm going to use a rectangle. Um, and what it's saying is that the area of this whole rectangle here is literally this trinomial right here. So if we assume that this is the area of the trinomial, can we factor? In other words, can we find the side lanes of the area model? That's what we're doing. So uh, before you start plugging this in, my recommendation is to recognize that, well, here the first uh, coefficient, we call it a, the coefficient of x squared, the number next to it is called 4, or <laughs> it's called a, and the coefficient of x is called b, and then this constant here, constant is just a number, um, Right, not attached to or multiplied by a variable. The constant c is 60. Um, I noticed that 32 and 60 are multiples of 4. So before you really begin this thing, you want to factor this out. How do you do that? Well, we have 4x squared plus 32x plus 60. So if I factor 4 out, that gives me x squared plus 8x plus 15. All right, if you multiply 4 back to each of these terms, you essentially get what you had originally. Then the technique, the algorithm I'm going to use here to get to the, these two binomials that multiply this trinomial, I'm going to play, place x squared in this spot. It gives me x by x, right? So x times x is x squared. I'm just saying, hey, this side length has got to be x. So does this one, so does this one, and so does this one. Then I'm going to put my constant, 15, here. Now the constant, uh, 15, uh, I find two factors that multiply to 15, right? So I'm going to use 3 and 5. And 3 and 5 is exactly what I need because, let me put it over here actually, um, they also add to 8x. And that's, I need the, the two numbers I multiply to 15 and add to 8x. That's the way this factoring process works. And we'll show you why. So 3 times x is 3x, right? And 5 times x is 5x. If we were to add these pieces back together to get the area of this trinomial, we'd have x squared, 3x from 5x is 8x and then 15, right? You can see that if you piece these back together, these terms back together, you get the original area. So what's happening? Well, the binomials are here. x plus 3 is one binomial. And the other one is here, x plus 5. Those are the two binomials that multiply to the trinomial we need from the beginning. And this is the factored form. Thanks.